One of the things to think about with your model, once it has 4D available, it becomes very dangerous. We're so used to shutting it off and having it be a safe position with the throttle down, but that's no longer safe because that means the plane is gonna be at full speed in reverse. So I really want to caution everybody to be careful and to really think through what you're doing. Take some extra time, take some extra caution, take off your propeller before you do any changes on the settings. Safety first, we don't want anybody getting hurt. Okay, I have swapped over my motor and my ESC from my Crack Yak. I have 124 flights on it already with just a regular ESC, and now I'm ready to try 4D. So I've taken the prop off because we're really trying to be safe, and we are ready to set it up in our transmitter. Let's put the ESC into 4D mode. You can leave the plane in full-time 4D mode. There's nothing wrong with that. The way I would like to set it up is using my transmitter so that I can have it in 4D mode and then flip a switch and have it in 3D mode. I'm gonna show you how to set it up like that next. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go into my model settings and I want to adjust the input. So we're gonna set it up so it has three separate modes. First mode is going to be just regular 4D flying. When I have the throttle all the way up, it'll be all the way forward. When I have it in the middle, it will be at zero throttle. And then when I put it all the way down, it will reverse. Then we'll be able to flip a switch and set it up so it just works like a normal, regular 3D plane. And then I'll flip it one more and that will be a motor cut. So that way, if I'm doing something in 4D mode, it gets close to the ground, I can cut it. We're not gonna damage the motor or the ESC by burning it out. So having all three things on the one switch is gonna be the way that I would prefer to set it up. Okay, we are ready to set up our three different positions on our switch. So I'm going to go into the model settings and I'm gonna to go to the inputs and we're gonna change the throttle input. So I'll edit this one and I'll change this to throttle 4D. And we're going to put this onto the switch. We want this to be on switch SE up. And I'll set my Expo at 30%. That's up to you how you wanna do your Expo, but that's the way that I like it. Then we can go back. So now it's set up so that it's in 4D mode. Uh, we'll have full control of the throttle all the way up, all the way down. It will be in reverse, it'll be in forward. Now that I've got it set up for 4D flight, I'm gonna create a custom throttle curve. So we're gonna go into our curves. We're gonna create a new curve. I'll just pick CV2 and I want it to look like this but we're gonna move all of these points up. So this point, I'm going to move it up to the zero. This one will move up to 20. This one to 50. This one to 75. And this one to 25, I meant to do that too. Okay, so now it's just using the top half of the throttle, and we'll call this 3D throttle, or 3DT for throttle, because that's all it lets me do. So now I've created my 3D throttle curve. Now we can go back to here, and we're gonna use that curve in a new insert after. So we'll call this one THR 3 -E. And the switch, we're gonna put that in the middle. So SE minus. And curve, we're gonna say custom curve. We created a custom curve. Which one? CV2? No, 3DT, because we renamed it. That looks great. Then I'm going to go and make a special function. So let's make a new special function. 
we'll call it special function five. And we're gonna say, have this be SE down. And that means the switch is all the way towards me. And that will override. And we want this to override channel three because that's our throttle channel and enable. Okay, so now it should be set up that if our SE switch is all the way forward, we get full control. If we switch it to the middle, then that should act just in the positive. And then if we switch it to all the way towards us, then we have no throttle at all. If you find that the motor is spinning in 3D mode, then you just need to adjust your zero value. I'll do the same thing with the cut. Now we're ready to put on our propeller and try and fly in 4D.